Hey guys, it's MJ, and I thought I'd make a video on money, but more importantly, not the, the finance or the technology behind it, but rather more the artwork that gets printed onto it. So what I want to do in this video is just look at some African money and just show you guys what it looks like. So what we got over here is we've got some money from Tanzania. You can, see, you can even see like the little watermark over there. This is 10,000 shillings, and for those of you who don't know, Tanzania is that very big country over there. And it's got uh, Mount Kilimanjaro is on that and the border with another country called Kenya. They're doing very well at the Olympics. Uh, just let me pick this one up. This also, it's, uh, it's shillings as well. But um, I don't think the Kenyan shilling is the same as the Tanzanian um, shilling. You can say Tanzania, Tanzania, there's lots of different ways uh, on how to pronounce it. This pretty one over here is from Madagascar. Okay, I love the artwork on this. And you can see there is like some sort of bull as the watermark just to you know, try and put people off counterfeiting the money. Madagascar is this massive island over here that's I think way bigger than Britain. But there's Madagascar. Um, then let's take a look at Zambia. So Zambia, this is known as a kwacha, 100 kwacha. And it's a very pretty note. I love the colors. Here we go over there, good old Zambia. And what's quite nice is I've had clients in Zambia, in Tanzania, um, also in Uganda and Gambia, but I couldn't find those notes. But there's... There's Zambia, it's quite a big country. Um, yeah, like I said, Uganda I didn't get, but and then Gambia, which is some like little tiny country over there. Oop, I'm like battling to zoom in on this thing. Okay, forget it. Um, let's go back to, to the money. Um, then I've got a very old South African tin rand. Um, I mean, yeah, it's got some cute little animals on the back. And uh, then I've also got, this is also like a quacha from Angola. So Angola, is, this is Angola money. And I'll show you guys where Angola is on the map. There is Angola. And then, um, oh, I'll show you. This is like the money that South Africans use every day now. This hundred hundred rand, it's it's around it's just less than ten dollars. That's the the exchange rate. Probably eight, maybe seven dollars. I don't know, the currency is continuously fluctuating. Uh, but yeah, I mean our money is the most beautiful money in the world. We've got the best art compared to the rest. Um, and then finally I just want to show you one last uh, one last note. This is my favorite one. Uh, it is a Rhodesian dollar. Okay, this one has been fairly used quite a bit, so I don't want to handle it too much. And um, Rhodesia is the old name for Zimbabwe, which is that country over there. Um, Zimbabwe, as many of you know, has hit hyperinflation. I mean, they're printing trillions and trillions of dollars. Um, I think they've got like a note that's like a hundred trillion just on one banknote. So to find the banknote of one dollar, I mean, there's such a story behind this, such a history, um, how monetary policy can go crazy sometimes. And um, it makes me think, I think it was Milton Friedman who said that, you know, uh, minting money is the act of taking very valuable paper, very valuable ink, putting them together and creating something worthless. So, without further ado, that is the rest of the video. Maybe I'll give you a little quick scan of the other money that I got from Cambodia, Argentina. Vietnam's money is very pretty. I think that's Finland. There's Turkey. Um, that's also, again, another one from Vietnam. Um, Cambodia. That one's from Italy. Um, Vietnam again. I mean, look how small and cute that one is. And then that one's finally there from... Brazil. So I think overall um, African money is the prettiest. It might not be worth the most, but it definitely is the prettiest money in the world. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe for more uh, videos where we talk about how to make money and how to invest it and the economics behind it. Cheers.